So, Predators, so uh, today we are going to talk about uh, me starting to venture into doing saddle hunting. So, I've been really excited about turn, starting to try to do this. Uh, I've tried unsuccessfully in years past to uh, carry a climbing tree stand into the woods, uh, and unfortunately, it, it just didn't work out. Whenever I the, the tree stand that I could afford last year was, uh, or actually the year before, weighed about 35 pounds and uh, that on top of everything else that I was carrying in the wood like snacks and food water and all this stuff to do an all-day sit uh, it made the whole thing just not even worth my trip so this year I'm gonna do it different uh, I started by doing the uh, ordering I kind of shopped online a little bit I rather watched different reviews for all the saddles on there and I ended up going with probably the least expensive of all the hunting saddles uh, on the internet that I could find uh, one of the least expensive anyways um, and uh, I made a couple mistakes in order now this is a learning process for me so uh, any tips you have other than watching videos on YouTube because I've already done a lot of that uh, especially after I ordered this saddle uh, anything you can any tips you can give me would be much appreciated uh, so I thank you for tuning in and watching this video uh, so basically what we've got going on here is I ordered online the trophy line ambush pro hunting saddle okay so it comes here in this this little bag all right it's nice got a little carrying bag for it so you can keep it uh whenever you're storing it off season you can kind of keep everything together here uh works pretty nice for that uh inside though uh, with the basic saddle kit this is really all you get right here uh, this is the saddle itself okay you can see it's got all the bags that come with it again this is the ambush pro which comes with the uh uh, mossy oak bottomland camo uh, on it, which is a really good camo pattern. Uh, I like it pretty well. It blends in with everything that I've already got, which is a really good plus for me. There's so many different camo patterns out there, it's hard to find. Uh, not, not many of these saddles come in the one you use probably, but this is a really good one that kind of blends into everything else that I already have. You can also get the Trophy Line Ambush Light, which actually comes in uh, just kind of a coyote tan color, which is also another great option. And, uh, almost ended up going with that one, but uh, decided to do this instead. So, uh, anyway, so obviously, let's take our little mossy oak sticker off of here. We'll open this up a little bit so you can see it does come with uh, a couple of bag attachments here. So, the first one this is kind of a like just a straight rope bag, it is a very quiet mesh material. I don't know if you can hear this, but I got really rough rough hands and so uh, you know like I say my fingers are kind of catching the fabric a little bit but as far as the fabric itself it doesn't make any real noise or anything like that uh, so this is kind of you could either use this as like a stuff bag where you just throw kind of uh, all your extra crap and things like that uh, or you could use this uh, let me turn this upside down or right side up for you guys uh, so you could use this as again like it's kind of like a stuff bag where you just throw all your your other crap in there uh, or you could use this as like a rope bag where you actually store your rope in here cinch it up a little bit here and you kind of have just the tip of the rope and the carabiner coming out uh, so that you can have easy access to it uh, so over here you've got another bag this is uh, again another deep pouch right here that has a couple of side pouches here that'd be good for if you have like uh, any kind of like calls or anything like that um, other little accessories like additional carabiners and things like that could really easily fit on the side there okay so it's really good uh, made out of that same quiet material uh, and I actually went and I went on there on the trophy line website and I also ordered uh, an additional bag that's kind of a, an accessory bag this is the what they call a classic or the vintage bag and it's in a different camo uh, but this still actually matches uh, some of my other camo most of my camo or the camo on my uh, Vinyl harness is, is a very similar one like this. Uh, so it's a little bit different. We're mixing different camo types here, but this works just fine. So this little bag right here is just a, a little magnetic uh, bag here. I, I bought this because I'm gonna plan on keeping uh, some extra things in here. And so it's got this main kind of sealed pouch. Again, this is super, super, super soft fabric here. See, it's very quiet. It's very quiet and doesn't make any noise or anything like that, which is really good. Pull this drawstring out here. Put the silica gel away. And it's got a really nice sized, uh, thick pouch here where I can store uh, different ropes. I can again use this as a stuff sack instead of that other one. 
Um, it's got a little pouch on the outside here. The zipper is pretty quiet. It's a lot quieter than my, you know, civilian backpack stuff I've got, you know, um, non-hunting stuff, which is a good thing. Okay. And again, I can kind of shove this back in here. And then again, it magnetizes closed. So you can hear that little magnetic click there. And it holds shut pretty good. Like if I, if I were to come over here and tug on it, like it's going to open up. But uh, I feel pretty confident about that. If I wanted to reinforce that, you could do something like this. I've got some of uh, these uh, little neodymium uh, rare earth magnets that I could put on there. I can make it a little bit stronger. But I think for all intents and purposes, that'll do just fine. So this bag is apparently is this gadget gear, zero decibel construction. Uh, so basically these are just some of the features of it. Quiet magnetic flap, okay? quiet drawstring. Uh, so this is uh, something I ordered separately that will uh, kind of mount to this uh, so that I have a little bit more extra storage on it. All right. But again, the pouches that come with the system are also really good. Also really quiet zippers, which is really good. All the fabric on this is made very quiet. All right. By the way, guys, I am no expert hunter, no expert saddle hunter. This is all a perspective of a novice. Again, I've never done this before. I'm just getting into it. Uh, so take these, uh, take all this with that kind of information as you see, as you see it. All right, so next here, uh, so basically this is a newer version. This is a 2021 brand new, I just ordered this. Uh, so this is, if you're looking at the saddle from like how you're gonna put it on, uh, I guess you're looking, this right here is the top of the saddle here. Again, we're looking at the pouches on the top over here. Uh, and then this right here is my bridge. Okay, it's got a dual uh, wedding strap bridge. This is super thick. It's pretty slick too. Like I feel like once I get it in there and I get a carabiner wrapped around it, then it will slide pretty easy. Uh, so I can easily cinch, I've watched videos on this where you can easily cinch this up uh, just by sliding this uh, once it's on you like this and you can uh, lengthen the bridge. Or shorten it quite easily okay so in previous versions this actually didn't come with a belt here and this little belt is basically what helps you kind of help carry it or helps you carry it around your waist so it's just a little uh, tensioner right here it makes a little bit of a rattling sound but it's like pretty quiet almost dead quiet in this garage and it's just a tiny little rattle in so if i take this all the way out Makes a little bit more noise, but again, I'm going to be having this strapped down whenever, by the time I'm in the woods with it. So uh, I can tighten that up and uh, there we go. That'll cinch it up around your waist uh, so it doesn't fall down while you're walking to your stand or to your uh, tree, rather, uh, the tree that you're going to get up in the woods. So again, this bridge here is super adjustable. It's just got this one buckle over here. Makes a little bit of rattle when I'm doing it, but whenever I've got tension on it, obviously it's quiet. And again, I can kind of cinch this up as well. And I can lengthen my bridge this way. So whenever I do that, if I actually uh, shorten this and it'll tighten up on my, on my hips whenever I'm up there. And if I pull it back, it's gonna loosen up. So the leg straps here, uh, one thing I've heard a, a few people complain about is that the leg straps are not adjustable on here. Uh, so I don't know if that's going to become an issue later or anything like that. Uh, we'll see. This material right here is the, uh, the back of it, the part that's going to be on my back and on my, uh, superior posterior, I guess you'd say. Uh, it's super soft again. It's, it's very stretchy. Like you see, uh, some of these other, uh, some of these other saddles out there come with like this kind of a, a web material or whatever. It's like a stretchy nylon or something like that in there. This material right here as well, you can see it's got a super, super stretch, super comfortable. So I'm expecting it to be pretty comfortable, but we'll see. Uh, again, uh, seeing things like this, you know, kind of, I don't know if that's going to be great or not, but uh, these right here is where you hook your lineman uh, belt here, these hoops, and they stand out really well. Like, so hooking a lineman's belt to this, I feel it's not going to be any problem whatsoever. Uh, so like for instance, again, I, when I ordered this, I made the mistake of ordering just a saddle and I figured I'd order just a cheap rope and all this stuff, but, uh, I've changed my mind and I ended up ordering the bridge and, or sorry, the, uh, the harness rope, this rope here, bridge rope, whatever you want to call it. 
and a separate lion's rope. But I did order this one because I found that uh, being that this has a really thick bridge on it, you need a little bit thicker carabiner on there so that it'll fit the bridge in there properly. So I'll twist this, unlock it. And so my bridge slides in here. I'm gonna do this upside down, kind of weird. Uh, so anyways, so this is how my bridge sits in there. You see how that extra wide angle here on this carabiner is kind of important. So if you don't have the right size carabiner in there, then it's possible that it could, you know, not fit in there properly. Okay. So that's one of the reasons I decided to, uh, you know, order the, go ahead and order the trophy line uh, harness here. This is what's going to actually strap you to the tree whenever you're climbing up there. So it comes here, got the loop on one end. When I first saw this on videos online and everything, I saw this uh, uh, wrapping here. I, I kind of worried, I thought, man, that looks like a plastic or something that would break really easily. Uh, but now I'm feeling it in hand here, it's really thick. And it's got a little bit more of a rubbery texture. It's not plastic, like it's not something where if it's, get, it's not gonna cut real easy and it's not gonna come off. And also you can see all the stitching and everything here. It's got a really good good quality stitch in there as well. So uh, anyways, order the bridge here. It comes with the prusik knot on it. Prusik knot, I don't know how you pronounce it, okay? And uh, yeah, so there's the bridge for it. Again, I recommend you go ahead and buy the kit. The kit comes with all this stuff. Uh, and yeah, it'll be, it'll be better. So I did save a little bit of money on this. I went with the, uh, it's a hunter safety system, lineman's rope. Again, this is going to hook in here. It's going to knot in like so right here. So trying to connect this carabiner over here. So connecting the carabiner. Again, I undo that. And I'm just going to clip this in right there. And I also bought a, uh, a ropeman. This is a Wild Country Ropeman 2. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have another carabiner on this side. Or actually, I'm going to switch this. It's going to be on the opposite side. Again, I'm, I'm kind of working upside down here. Uh, but anyways, it's going to be over here. Basically, what this does is this is going to help uh, where I can pull on this rope here and make it to where, you know, it's not going to loosen up on me. If I wanted to, I can pull that and pull the excess line through. Again, this will be held together by a carabiner. And then that locks it in whenever I'm not. So whenever I, I go back, I can't pull it through this way. This is a, called an ascender. It's basically, they call this the Ball Country brand Ropeman 2. All right. So anyways, I think it's a pretty good accessory to get on there. You can also do the same thing by just having a prusik knot tied to it. Uh, but I kind of feel like, uh, you know, I want to be able to have something on there that's a little bit easier to use. I've used the prusik knot before whenever I was trying to use the climbing tree stand. Uh, I used it with my uh, uh, my, lines, my my lineman's rope to climb up. I used it with my lineman's rope to climb up into the tree and, and, and have myself secure up there while I was using the climbing tree stand, which is, by the way, one of the most terrifying things I've ever done. Hopefully this harness hunting for me is a lot better, but, uh, you know, we'll see. So anyways, that's kind of the basic gear. I just wanted to go through what I'm going through here this year. Uh, again, this is going to be my first time saddle hunting, so I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, so just looking at every layout of everything here, uh, I feel like I want to have my... Uh, actually, you know what, I want to get y'all's input for you guys out there that have done saddle hunting before. Uh, this kind of drop bag here, the one with the uh, cinch on it, the cinch bag, I'm thinking about using this for, and moving this over here, using this for my uh, my harness rope, or my lineman's rope, one of the two, and I'm going to put the opposite one over here along with some accessories and things like that. All right. So I've got my pack here and we're going to try to uh, climb up this tree just a little bit. We're not going to go super high because uh, I'm out here at a park and can't find the perfect tree to climb. This is what I have to do for now. Uh, but yeah, so I got the, the saddle out here. This is the Trophy Line Ambush Pro. Okay. So first I'm going to step in it like so. All right. So I'm gonna put my foot, feet in the leg loops. Slide it on like a, like a diaper. All right. Now I'm gonna put the buckle on for, for it to stay on my waist. 
Okay, so I got one side. You can hear even this buckle's got a little bit of rattle. It's not that bad. Okay. I got that. Cinch it up. There we go. Now that's not going to fall off. Pretty much no matter what. Okay, so I can tighten this up. Slide that out of the way if I need to. Okay, so now if I want to tighten this bridge up a little bit so that it's not as loose, I just pull on it right there. I'll tuck the excess in right there. So as you can see, I kind of rearrange things. I've got my my lineman's belt over here on this side. This is going to help me initially ascend the tree. And then over on this side is where I put, uh, this is my actual harness here, the or the tether that's going to hold me against the tree. All right. On the back here, I put this uh, extra pouch. And basically what this extra pouch is going to do is this is going to uh, carry my cam buckle straps right now for my climbing sticks, okay? So let's put our first stick up here and uh, start to make our way up the tree. So I got some branches in the way here. See if this, that won't come down. Okay. So again, I'm going to reach into my very back back here this super soft pack that I've got. I'm gonna pull out the first cam buckle strap here. Actually, it's not even a buckle. It's, these things are super quiet. So it's just a nylon strap here. Uh, and it's got these two little buckles on here. So let's do this. Extend that out. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this one on there, okay? Put it up against the tree, about the height that I can get my leg up. I'm gonna swing this around. And of course it's too big. So I found a little bit different tree here because the one I was trying to use before is too big for the strap. This is another reason why they say that you gotta pick your tree size appropriately. So again, I'm just gonna hook this buckle on there. Now I'm gonna cinch this up. So this is quiet, there's no ratcheting straps and anything like that, I just push this button. Make sure my strap is flat against the tree. Pull the excess around. Okay, pull this through. All right. So I want to make sure that this is on the side of the tree here where I've got both cleats. So look, you see right here how, if you can see that, but this is not touching right here. So I want to make sure over on this side that it is touching because right now it is not. So I'm gonna move it around. Now I've got all four feet touching. Tighten that strap up a little bit more. There we go, it's as tight as it'll go. And so now if I put my weight on here, I, there we go, so I can make sure it's sinking in. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is, again, safety first, I'm gonna pull my lineman's belt out here. Try that again. I'm gonna swing this around the tree. And I'm gonna hook it in over here on the other side. Right there, okay. It's not gonna adjust my linesman's belt. Again, this is my first time doing this, so bear with me here. So I'm gonna bear down on this just to make sure it's gonna hold me good. Alright. So first impressions are is that this is very very comfortable, it's pretty kind of precarious in this tr specific tree, especially now that I'm here, I see ants crawling all over the tree. So let's get away from that. And there's the biggest spider I've ever seen in my life, right there. So some great things to be uh, careful of when you're climbing a tree. So again, I'm just coming up on this one step here. I'm buried in, I'm sinking in my line, lineman's belt here, I can feel it, it's nice and stable which is nice.
Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and reach around here and pull out my bridge. Okay, and so this is the thing that's gonna really help me sit on the tree comfortably. Whoa, nope. Sorry, Mr. Spider. I'm gonna get the fuck out of this tree now. Okay. There we go, this one seems much better. Maybe I just fed it through there wrong. Yeah, I think I did. tree. I got my step locked in. No spiders. No spiders on the tree with me. Great thing. Okay. All right. So again, now I'm going to loosen this up a little bit. Okay. So now I got my lineman's belt hooked in here. I'm going to take my first step up. Okay, so that's bit into the tree now. All right, now we're doing it. Okay, so I feel good here. I'm going to tighten this belt up a little bit. And so this is the rope in here. That's where it comes in handy, where I can slide that up a little bit. And you see now it's not going to loosen up. Again, I can pull this rope again. And now it's just going to hold me right there so I can kind of manage all of this here with this system so again I can hold it together in my hand and use my thumb here and I can pull to loosen that and there we go okay so I'm gonna take one more step up here these steps are rock solid I'm gonna slide this up okay I'm gonna loosen it some because I'm standing up facing the tree very heavily here Anyway, so now that I got that all set up, I'm going to open up this pouch again on my side over here. Okay. And so, I was kind of messing this up earlier. But what I was doing wrong is I didn't have this in the right spot. So the carabiner here, and this needs to be on the end of the rope hanging down okay so basically what I got to do is I see my loop in here this is gonna go around the tree sling it like so okay now I'm gonna slide this whole thing through this loop carabiner and all again this is my first time doing this if you can't tell okay I want to make sure but this is at the appropriate height. Okay, and that's tight. Now I'm gonna to attach this to my bridge. Okay, and slide it up. Okay, so as I slide this up, okay, so now that I'm kind of leaning into it, I can feel that the bridge here is holding my weight more. I'm going to loosen up my lineman's belt some. Pull on this rope. Okay. So my lineman's belt is loose, but it's still around the tree here. Now I'm kind of sitting back in the saddle. Just to test. Okay. All right, so now I feel comfortable right here. I know that my prusik knot here is nice and tight. Before I take this off, I'm gonna make sure this is locked in, again, so this doesn't come off. Okay, so that's good. Again, I wanna slide this up more, so I feel even more secure. Okay. 
gonna keep some tension on this rope here. Now I'll loosen my lineman's belt. I'll sit back in it. Ah, and there we go. I'm gonna drop my lineman's belt in the bag here. Okay, and here we are. And again, this is not a super ideal because I'm on a crooked tree here and I don't have a platform. I'm just standing on sticks right now. But I can see myself doing this for quite a while, man. This is comfortable. The leg straps aren't digging in. That's one thing I was kind of worried about. Biggest thing is right now is without a platform, my feet, I know we're gonna get tired right so there's that but if I were shooting with my bow you know I feel like I could take I feel like I can make a shot from here like I feel super secure I'm kind of leaning back here so I think if I shorten this bridge a little bit I'm gonna want to pull on this and then pull on the top strap to shorten my bridge okay So that, that's holding me in a little bit more upright position. Some more standing, okay. So that's pretty good, I like that. Again, I can slide this up some. And now again, I'm in a more of a standing position. So if I wanted to go out some, I could lean this back. And now I'm really kind of sitting in the saddle. Also, if I wanted to, I could get some knee pads so I could lean up against the tree some more. But I see in this position, the biggest thing that's gonna hurt, that's gonna hurt over time is my feet. Because right now, this is pretty comfortable. I could sit here for a long time. It's not digging into my back. It's actually giving it some support. Uh, if I lock my knees like this, I'm pretty comfortable, guys. Like, this is pretty nice. Again, I can adjust my bridge with this little strap right here, okay? and then just slide the excess through the lineman loop there. Okay, I'm gonna stand up a little bit. Slide that knot up, and now I'm more of a standing position here. But adjusting this strap right here is how I feel a little more comfortable with that. Now I think I just made an, I made an adjustment there to this, and I probably shouldn't have. I probably should have put my lion's belt on right now, but I feel pretty secure, and again, I'm three feet off the ground so so yeah man so far I really like this like say if I, I feel like if I I'd be perfectly comfortable which I'm terrified of heights but I feel like I'd be perfectly comfortable climbing up higher into a tree that's not this crooked you know one of those uh, straight up or better so I shouldn't climb up that tree over there but the problem with that tree is is it's way too long for this so my straps for my tree steps would not fit around there okay so again, the other thing I was saying I could do is I could stand right here on this top step and then kind of put my knees in here. And like, this is perfectly comfortable, minus the fact that I have shorts on and I'm sitting in a saddle with my knees up against a tree, but this is comfortable, man. Like the saddle itself is nice. I can feel it kind of stretching on my bum there so there's no pinching in the back. There's no pressure on my hips. Man, I'm, I'm really excited about this, guys. Because the last time I went hunting, Again, I was doing this with a climbing tree stand. And I felt like I, was, I would have been a lot more limited than I am with the saddle here. Button on it. Now, if I remember right, I've got to attach this one. Over here. Oh, that's gonna get me upside down. There we go. This. 
kind of figuring this out as I go. Well, I mean, I know what to do, but. Okay. I'm gonna hang this one. This side. Okay. Now I take this, my lineman's belt, I'll swing this around the tree. And this is what holds me to the tree safely. figure out how to fix that better. Okay. So I'm gonna reach back in my bag. I'm gonna come over here so you can see me a little better. If you're not looking at my butt. I know you like looking at my butt, but. This height. Buzzing. <laughs> Some vicious animal here. The bug is going to take you away. Okay. So I need to take more of this slack out first next time. That way I'm not dealing with all this jazz here. Probably put this up a little bit higher if I'm trying to get higher. But this will do. This will do for this trip. Cinch it down nice and tight. Okay. Okay, feeling good here. So now I'm gonna pull out my minus the spider web I'm currently sitting in. Thank you, Mr. Spider. Your services are no longer needed. All right, so now I'm gonna grab my tether here. And obviously I could get up higher if I hadn't dropped one step, but for practice, this will work. Sling this around the tree. Also, you know what? I probably would tighten up my lineman's belt too. That's better. That way I'm standing up a little more straighter. Okay. Then this goes through the hole. Like it so. With money. this up and that's this part where I get my bridge I'm talking myself through this here attach it here stretch that up as high as I need a little bit higher cool actually it's like as soon as like like I can kind of feel the the, the saddle like kind of cradle my butt a little bit and I can feel whenever I've got the lineman's belt tight here which that's plenty tight but I can feel that I can kind of feel it right here in my hips but then as soon as I got my weight on the bridge here 
I'm just chilling. It's like I'm in, a, I'm in a little seated hammock here. So again, I'm gonna raise this up a little bit more. I'm gonna come closer to the tree. I can adjust this by pulling. Pulling this somehow, oh, there it is. There we go. So now it's kind of cupping my butt a little bit more. All right. I'm gonna take the lineman's belt off. There we go, now I'm just kind of hanging. Hanging out. And so at this point, I could throw that back in this bag if I wanted to, but I'm good. At this point, if I had my bow and stuff, I would use this green line here and I would hoist it up. I'm not gonna do that right now because I don't have my bow and stuff with me. But then I basically just kind of hang out right here. And if I were to fall or something, basically just gonna be humping the tree here. <laughs> Actually, I could kind of sit like this. So I'd have another strap up here where I could like hang my bow right over here or something like that. And I could literally just kind of hang out like this. I'm just kind of sitting in a hammock up here. I guess yeah, I'd be a little bit higher up. And then when something comes up, I'd kind of come to the standing position here, grab my bow. And I can kind of pivot around this a little bit, put my knee on the tree. I can cover this way. If I had a platform, they make these little platforms you can attach to the tree. If I had one of those, I think I'd feel a little more comfortable where I could do the, there's another shot where I can like put my arm under this way and spin all the way around that way. But again, right now I'm just standing on my tree step. So when I tried this yesterday, I was just standing on this and I was just in my tennis shoes and it was like super painful because these, you know, my shoes were kind of curling around this. My shoes were kind of curling around this step here and so it was just really fatiguing on my feet. But with these uh, boots, these hiking boots here, I'm not feeling that same fatigue. You know, again, I'm good. These good too, it's really nice. It's kind of here, so. I feel, I feel comfortable with this height. I definitely could go up another 10 feet or so if I'd done this right with the steps. And so what I was trying to do is trying to hook this carabiner on there but the carabiner came off I need to put it more through the loop and so these little carabiners have this kind of a uh, hook that goes on there but that's apparently not secure enough with that weight so anyhow all right I'll see you later all right so let's get back down so first thing I'm gonna do again throw my lion's belt the safety belt around here pull up on that and hook that in my tree. Lock the gate, so it's locked in. Didn't go in anywhere. Now I can pull a little bit of tension on this so that the weight is riding on this belt instead of this. So now I can open the gate. I can pull some weight off of here. And I don't like that belt slipped down, but that's okay. The weight sitting on there. Okay, and now I take a step down, slide my belt down, take a step down, take the belt down, bigger step here. So I hook that on the tree first before I take a step. That way, if I fall, it's gonna catch me. like this middle step. I think as I go down I should fold these up so they're out of the way. So I need to take this down. And touchdown. Yay. Yep. So that was actually a lot easier than the first time. Because I wouldn't share in the tree with the giant spider and ants. And the tree wasn't leaning. <laughs> so that was a lot better experience. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, check back. I'm gonna be doing some more stuff this year uh, with this saddle for sure. Thanks again guys and as always, keep finding the odds.